Hi guys. Okay, so I just want to do a real quick video on some of my what the fuck moments that I've come across so far where I have posted all over Facebook pages and on Reddit trying to get answers to some questions that I've had and one of them is who unlocked Teresa's car. Um, so I'm just going to just quickly go over some of the facts that I've got here. Um, Nicole Sturm talks about trying to open each of the doors with a tissue in her testimony. Um, Pam Sturm is the one who suggested that she try the doors with a sleeve and she chose to use a tissue instead. Um, fine. Then we've got John Ertle who shows up from the, the state crime, crime lab investigator who shows up on the scene. He also tries all the doors and found that they were all locked. Um, when the tow truck guy got onto the scene, um, he was unable to get into the car to put it into neutral so that it would roll, um, and also to pop the hood, whatever he needed to do under the hood, I'm not sure, um, but he was unable to get into it because the doors were locked, okay? So we've got three, four different people, whatever, saying that the doors were locked. Fastbender also um, talks in his testimony about the doors being locked. Um, the tow truck guy had to go underneath the front to unbolt the front drive shaft in order to get the front tires to roll so that he could pick it up from behind to roll it down the little um, ledge or whatever that it was on to bring it down to where the big trailer was at so that he could get it onto the trailer to be taken to the crime lab. Um, this is in Fassbender's testimony, this is in John Earl's testimony where they're talking about moving the RAV4 down off the ledge into the trailer. Okay, They both have said that they were only able to get the front wheels to roll. And we've all seen the picture of the RAV4 backed into this trailer. Okay, so the front of the RAV4 is facing the door, I guess, basically, of the trailer. So it's backed into it. And what my, my question, my problem here is, how the hell did they get it backed in when the back tires weren't rolling? Only the front tires were rolling. You see what I'm saying? Um... This is something that's really bothering me. Um, John Ertle also testifies that when he got the RAV4 back to the crime lab, he had to call another tow truck guy to basically do the reverse of what they had done um, in Manitowoc, where he had to have the tow truck guy get, get the car down off of the trailer and into the crime lab. Um, where he, he testifies again that only the back, or I'm sorry, only the front wheels would roll. Now, again, I have to say, how did they get, how did they get it out? There is no talk about putting it on little wheel dollies or anything like that. It's, they've only, they're only talking about hooking it up to a tow truck and having the tow truck take it off. But I don't see how when it's backed into the trailer how a tow truck can hook it up from behind to pick up those back wheels when it's backed into the trailer you see what I'm saying this is something that's really bothering me um, I don't know why I just think that this goes along with um, the same thing where is the documentation on how that door the driver's side door got unlocked um, Let's see, uh, when the car was unloaded at the crime lab, the doors are still locked. Um, the next morning, uh, Ronald Groffy, forensic imaging specialist, arrives early the next morning on his day off um, at the request of his supervisor, Lucy Meyer. Um, she tells him that he'll be one of the first people to see the vehicle, and he says when he arrived, the driver's side door was unlocked. All the doors were still closed, but the driver's side door was unlocked. 
So what I want to know is where is that documentation of how that door got unlocked? Um, this at the time would be one of their biggest pieces of evidence in this case. So you would think that if anyone even farted close to that car, they would have documented it somewhere just in case their DNA, you know, ended up on the car or something, you know. Every, every single person that touched it, every person that was near it, every person that did anything to this car, there should be some sort of documentation. There is no documentation that I've been able to find through all my, you know, attempts to find it myself and to ask for help on who unlocked that driver's side door. Now, yes, I know there are plenty of theories. I know, Slim Jims, blah, blah, blah. But if a Slim Jim was used on their major piece of evidence, you would think that would be documented. So where is that? Um, I know that, you know, I, I'm not saying that they had the key at that time because I don't know that. I don't know what they did or did not do because it's not documented, and that's my problem. Why is that not documented? What is this weirdness that's going on with the back tires won't roll but somehow they managed to back the RAV4 up into the trailer. I just don't even understand how that they did that. Um, now I've, I've got information from a mechanic who's been a mechanic like his whole entire life so longer than I've been alive I think almost um, that you would have to unhook the back as well or cut the line to the emergency brake or something like that. Um, I'm not a mechanic so I don't I don't remember exactly how he worded it but there would only be two ways to make all four of those tires roll which would be to unhook the front and the back drive shafts or to cut a line to the back as well and that wasn't done at least it wasn't documented that it was done all that they said was done was that they unhooked the front to get the front tires to roll and they did say that the back tires would still not roll so how did that happen why is that it, it makes no sense but even bigger where is the documentation on who unlocked that door how did they unlock it who did it when did that happen because you know as we all know, there was uh, a pretty big time difference in the amount of time that it took, two hours and 45 minutes, I believe, for um, John Ertle and his cameraman or whatever to arrive from Madison onto the scene. And then to get the trailer back to Madison was like four and a half hours. And I realized that they testified, or that John Arnold testified that they had they couldn't go over 50 miles an hour because of the trailer. Um, so, you know, I understand that it would take them a little bit longer, but that's still a pretty big difference in, you know, who knows what happened during that time. Um, also, in the time that when they arrive at back at the crime lab at 1.15 a.m., um, they're waiting there for the tow truck guy for like 45 minutes you know maybe at that time somebody unlocked the door I don't know but where is this documented why is this not documented this is I think is important and it's bothering me so much and if anyone knows it would be wonderful if you'd share that with me um, like I said I I can come up with theories on how it was done sure but I want some some kind of documents to show how this was done who did it when and all that just anything um, so yeah if you have any of that information please share um, thank you very much